What's up foodies? It's Good Friday, it's Fish Friday. It is the busiest day for fish and chip joints in Newfoundland. This is the day almost every Newfoundlander goes out to grab a nice feed of fish and chips. Now, unfortunately, I don't live in Newfoundland anymore, so I can't get any good, decent fish and chips here in Alberta. There might be a few joints, but they're packed full of Newfies that live here. So, I need to make my own. I'm gonna show you guys the secret to making crispy fried fish and my famous tartar sauce. And with that, let's make some fish and chips. Let's get into it. All right, to make my famous tartar sauce, you're gonna to need to add one cup of mayonnaise to a bowl, follow that up with a finely minced chalice, one tablespoon of finely chopped capers, a quarter cup of dill pickle relish. Sweet relish works here as well, but I like the dill pickle flavor. The zest of one lemon, one tablespoon of lemon juice, two teaspoons of Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire. How do you say it again? Still trying to figure it out. So add two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of mustard, once it's all in the bowl, we're gonna give it a nice mix until it's all combined. This sauce is best made the day before, lets all the flavors get to know each other. So you can make it the day before, place it in the fridge, and have it ready to go when your fish is fried. And if you don't have time to do that, you can make it just before you fry your fish. Once you have your tartar sauce finished, place it in the fridge, keep it cold, and then we can move on to making our fish. There's a few tricks to making fried fish. First things first is we need to salt our fish. You can use any white flaky fish here, it doesn't matter. But since I'm from Newfoundland, cod is king, and we're gonna make it with cod. Place your codfish on a wire rack, salt it on all the sides, and then we're gonna place that aside and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. What this is gonna do is help firm up the fish, pull out excess moisture, and keep the crust from getting soggy. While our fish is resting, let's turn on our fryer to 375 degrees and start making our batter. So to our batter, we're gonna add one cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and here's the secret to making a super crispy batter. We're gonna use half a cup of rice flour. Using the rice flour really gives it a nice crispy exterior. And while I was making this video, it stayed crispy from the point of making it to the point of two to three hours later when I was taking photos, and then I finally got a chance to eat it. It was super crispy. It really does hold up. It is the secret to making really crispy fried fish. Now take a whisk and whisk it all together and make sure it's combined. Then add in one can of ice cold beer, slowly pouring it in not to get too many bubbles, Whisk it until it just comes together. You don't want to over whisk it. If there's a few lumps in the batter, that's fine as well. You're looking for a semi-thick, not too thick, not too loose mixture here. Uh, if you need to add a little bit at a time till you get the right consistency, do that. We have our oil heated up to 375 degrees, nice and hot. If you don't have a deep fryer, you can do this in a pot with a thermometer. Just maintain your levels and don't add too much oil to cause an overflow of oil and a fire. And we don't want that, and I don't want to be the cause of you burning down your house. So be careful if you're using a pot. Our batter is ready, our fish is ready. Let's fry some fish. Then we're gonna take a piece of paper towel and dab it over the fish just to remove any excess moisture. This will help keep a nice crispy batter when it's cooked. Now take your codfish, place it into a bowl of flour. You can add a bit of salt to this flour to season it. Give it a nice coating, make sure it's well coated all over with flour. It's gonna help the batter stick to it. Shake off any excess flour, bring it over into our batter and drop it in. Give it a nice coating, roll it around in there. Shake off any excess batter and then slowly place it into our oil, giving a nice little wiggle back and forth as you drop it away from you so you don't burn yourself with hot oil. Now cook that for about seven minutes. Using a spoon or a fork, you can move it around making sure you get a nice even golden brown all around. And once your fish is golden brown and has reached an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit, remove it, place it onto a wire rack and season with some salt and let any excess oil drip off. And there you have it foodies, the secret to making crispy fried fish. Plate this up with some french fries, my secret tartar sauce, and you'll have yourself an amazing fish and chips dinner. Make sure you give this a try. Let me know your favorite fish and chip joint in the comments below. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, a subscribe down below. And until next time, foodie out.